Thank you to the faculty of ACI Extension for inviting me to speak this evening. As I looked out on all of you, I realized that we all come from different background experiences and education. However, there is one thing that we can all relate to, which is to never give up. In other words, there is no ceiling on effort. For the next five minutes, I hope to inspire you with my journey on how I got here today standing in front of you. I started shortly after I graduated from college. I was helping my parents put my younger brother through UCSD at a time when young working professionals were still discovering themselves and how they, were, how they fit into the real world. I was fortunate to be working at a highly successful company at that time. So by the age of 27, I was already one of the youngest leader in the organization. Life was good, it was very good. And I couldn't complain, but we can never take that for granted because those things change overnight. The company decided to lay off the entire division and with a generous three months pay, I said, hey, what the heck, I can find a job anywhere. So I'll take the severance. But little did we know when they say, when it rains, it really pours. The tragedy of 9-11 occurred and was followed by the end of my parents' 30-year marriage. Rejections of my job application came, more than I can ever count, and nightmares lingered through the night as we struggled to pay the bills and keep up with my brother's college tuition at UC San Diego. Truth be told, I actually went into a depression for quite some time. I didn't realize it then, but the reason why I didn't find a job anywhere at that time was because I didn't have any transferable skills into another workplace. The job market was so bad that I decided to start at the bottom of my current company. The difference is that this time, I decided to do things differently. I went back to school while juggling a career and a full-time job, along with two young kids at home. I started this when my daughter was only six months old. With the support of my husband for the next five years, I received two certificates, just like you sitting here today, the project management certificate and the business analyst I also became a member of the Project Management Advisory Board. I passed my global PMP exam, co-written a book, and became a guest speaker in the UCI Extension classes as part of giving back. This is in addition to my three promotions and tripling my salary. Why am I telling you this? I am telling you that you can see clearly how the value of the extension program applies to my return on investment. So your efforts tonight do not go to waste. It didn't stop there. My hard work and responsibility kept growing to the point where I am now managing the organization enterprise system for over 760 retailers. With the support of my current leader, I was able to break through many traditional barriers for women in business, achieving the top 10 position of female hosts in my organization, and especially in the automotive industry where it is dominated by men. So people ask all the time, what is the secret ingredient? Here are the five tips that I found to be important. One, exude confidence in your skills and knowledge. If you are unsure of something, go find an answer. The UCI extension programs and the instructors have a wealth of knowledge at your fingertips. They have multiple industry experiences, written tons of books, and are subject matter experts to some of the issues I'm sure you are dealing with today in the workforce. Two, communicate assertiveness. Women don't do a good job at this. They tend to be less likely to ask for raises 
take on big assignments and embrace risks. I meant embrace risks. This is very important because if you have an opportunity to take on any one of this, you must speak up and rise to the challenge. And if you're fortunate enough, like me, to have a special leader to support your career growth by providing you progressive opportunity, you need to seize the moment. Three, work one level above you. People ask me all the time, what does this mean? I actually came up with this myself because this is something that I always do. It means to succeed is always to be competitive. You should always excel in your current position while conquering your next one. Basically, you're doing two jobs for the price of one. This is especially important for women in business because you want to show that you are willing to sacrifice. Don't complain, don't self-advertise, and let the work speak for itself. Four, accept disappointment. Even through my hard times, I did not make excuses. Part of being successful is to fail because that's how you test your limit. Only through failure, one can gain clarity. And with clarity, our ability to take control of our future is greatly sharpened. That's what happened to me. And lastly, get a mentor. We can't all succeed on our own. If you have a mentor, you can maximize your opportunity for success. I am fortunate enough to have two, one at work and one here at the UCI Extension Program. They are both here tonight. I met Marty Wurtenberg, and for those of you who know him, he is a very popular guy, and we are very indebted to him. I met him during the risk management class. For even after five years, I still call him Facebook for short. Why? Because knowing one of him is like knowing a thousand of his colleagues. For instance, I had a job interview down the street at Edwards Life Sciences. And I called up Marty and said, hey Marty, do you know anyone at Edwards Life Sciences? He emailed me back, one sentence, very brief, sure. Call this person at this number. When the gentleman picked up the phone, it was the HR director. <laughs> to close, always remember, there is no ceiling on effort. No one is entitled to a good job or a promotion. As you receive your awards tonight, your journey does not stop here. Education and knowledge is a lifelong learning as you hear from the dean and the associate dean. This is the reason why I am still taking classes today, even after five years. Just when you think you had enough of this, you realize that you must become a student in all things to continually improve yourself, both professionally and personally, in order to maximize your opportunity, what, what lies ahead of you. Good luck to all of you, and thank you very much.